Members and supporters of the beef plan movement have begun protesting at the gates of beef processing plants across the country. Agriland travelled to a beef plan protest near Kilbegan to see what they had to say about the announcement that some dairy farmers will be eligible for support under the beam scheme. Here's what they had to say. I don't think it should be turning farmers against farmers, realistically. It's just the dairy herd is performing better at the moment and it's hard to make a living in sucklers and that's where the friction is coming together. But like, um, like I had to sell all my weanlands this year and I normally sell the weanland bulls at nine months and uh, 400 kg, they probably make about 1,100 euros every year. This year it was 800, 850, and I had to go and start working two weeks ago. I can't pay vets, bills, you know, the diesel going up and contract workers, it's just not in it, like. Well, I think it's fair for uh, guys under 40 cows, all right, but I think the system is fl very flawed. Like, for someone like myself, I had to sell 80 cows last year, last November. I'm not part of Board B yet, so I'm not getting my, any money. I sold my cattle, I lost 150 euros a head, and now I'm told I'm not going to get any compensation either for it by the looks of what the Minister said this morning. I suppose fair enough if, as long as our beef enterprise is similar size to their dairy, if it's 50 50, if the 40, 20, 40 cows are they're not making a whole lot either in comparison, you know. You know, if they're running a 50 50 enterprise, fair enough, but if it's you know, if they're using the dairy cows, say the cold alaka cows, and they're using it to claim on that, they probably shouldn't be allowed on dairy animals. Maybe on their beef, no hassle at all, but the dairy thing, maybe not. No, it should be focused on those that have suffered the most. Now, dairy farmers that are under a certain threshold, be it income and numbers, and who have always finished their progeny, yes, something should be done for them, but yeah, it should be aimed at those primarily the beef farmers that have been struggling the most. They're getting a big hit with the price when they sold on as store cattle. They lost up to 200 euro a head on those animals. So I think the beef farmers should be looked after first.